how big would this resolution be and what density is it and what orientation or how many degrees is it rotated oh oh now my screen goes off is there an option to to keep it always on you're telling me there is oh with the examine essentials apis you can um Go into the device display information and you can do all these things. You can get information about the resolution. Um, you can keep the screen always on if that's something that you need. And you can get information about the, the, the orientation and the rotation of your device. That is amazing. Let's go have a look at how that works. So here we find ourselves in a file new Xamarin Forms project. Um, this is just a default template. Whenever you start Visual Studio for Mac or Visual Studio 2019, um, you will get this application template and it will look like this. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to remove all of these here for now. And I'm just going to keep this label here. I'm going to give it a name so that we can reference it from our code behind um, let's just name it our device info label here we go and I'm going to remove this text for now device um, info will show here there we go and whenever I save this um, by a hot reload it will automatically update our UI running in the um, simulator in this case it also works for Android with the emulator um, and of course very important we have to update our title here device info sample there we go um, so now we have everything in place to start looking at the device info here um, so we are going to go to the um, code behind for this so i'm going to go over to my solution the main page and the main page example cs and whenever this happens here um, let's just well actually um, you have to add the using here at the top so using xamarin essentials there we go that makes it a little bit easier for us to access it and then whenever we start typing in the intellisense we automatically see our device info object coming up here um, and that's actually not the right one so <laughs> this is the device info i'll save that for another video um, let me know in the comments if that is something that you're interested in um, but we are actually going to look at the device display um, and here we have a couple of things so we have the keep screen on uh, that one is very cool because with this you can um, it's just a boolean you can set if the screen has to stay on yes or no so um, all phones have some kind of timeout where they will shut off their screen and go back to the lock screen um, but with this setting you can keep your screen on so maybe you're building a app that does some navigation on a map you want the screen to be on uh, or maybe you're doing something else which um, involves like you know the user has to keep their eyes on that screen you can keep it on like this so just um, do this set it to true and the um, screen will stay on so that is very cool now the other thing that it's really about is the device display and we have here the main display info um, and if we go into that you can see all kinds of things so you can see the density you can see the height the orientation so you can also see the orientation of the device uh, which is very cool uh, the rotation so this gives you a little bit of information about the rotation and the width so you can see all these things that tell you something about the device of this uh, the display of this device so uh, but you have one other thing so if we go back here to device display you also also have the main display info changed so this is an event and we are going to hook into this and um, here we can catch changes in these device info um, so whenever we get here we can update our label we can say um, device info label now I know it's not completely accurate because we are looking at the device display but you know um, you'll understand what's going on and we're going to set the text to and here in the event arc so the display info change event arcs that will hold all the information with the new display info you can also of course go through the device display um, class again but you know you have the the arcs here so why not use them and here we can see the same display info object and uh, well you can um, reach all these properties um, separately from each other or you can just say i want to do the two string and that will give you a nice two string with all the 
concatenation of all the properties that are in there. So we're going to use that right now. Um, so let's save this. This is a change in code. So I'm going to have to stop my application here and um, rerun it again. Now, and the easiest way to show this is by actually doing um, some orientation change. So um, let's see if we can do that. Here we go. Change the orientation. And you can immediately see that it gives me like the um, display info to string. So it gives me the height, the width, uh, the density. So that's like um, how how dense are the pixels. Um, so that should tell you something about um, how big your images should be, for instance. Uh, the orientation is landscape now and the rotation is 90. So uh, the both the orientation and the rotation will tell you something about um, the which way is rotated. So if I rotate it once more, uh, it does nothing because it's upside down. But if I do that again, you can see it's again still landscape but the rotation is now 270 instead of 90 um, so that tells you like what the rotation is uh, so the reason for it not working upside down is something that you can um, I think disable or enable in your info p list uh, that your application should only respond to certain um, orientations um, and yeah upside down is usually not something that you want um, so let's put this back up. Here we go. And you can see now the rotation is zero. So you know that the user is um, holding the device upright. And, uh, you know, maybe you have some requirements in your app there where that is handy to know. Um, and you can make decisions based on this. Um, so, yeah, the device, uh, the keep screen on is a little bit hard to demonstrate here. Um, just trust me, it works. You have no reason not to trust me. I've only told you the truth throughout my videos. Um, so, you know, uh, that's, that's just something that you can use. So, um, oh, the height is something um, that that changes as well. So that's um, pretty cool. So this is all information that you can use whenever you need it. Um, and you can respond to the changes with the event. So, um, you know, a nice clean API for you to use whenever you have a use case for us. And now you know how to use it. Nice and clean API, nothing fancy. Here's how you use it, now you know. Um, so let me know what the use cases are that you're using this for. Let me know in the comments. Um, if you've liked this video, please give it a appropriate thumbs up. Um, and if you like my channel, then please subscribe. Hit that little bell so you get notified whenever new videos comes up um, because I'm planning to release a lot more videos on a lot more APIs. If you have any ideas on what I should cover, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm happy to accommodate a video especially for you. Um, so that's it. I'll see you for my next video.